Hey everyone, welcome back to our series of Medieval 2 Total War. This is Nick, and are you ready to do this? Because I'm pretty fucking ready to do this, so let's go! Anyway, welcome back to our series of Medieval 2 Total War. Uh, I remember we left off, yeah, with that battle underway, so I'm just going to take a quick look around here, see if they're not. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go right in for it. Yes, Osman, the time has come to strike, and thank you so much for calling me Mighty Sultan. Let's take Zagreb off the Hungarians. Oh, the king's here with four units of damaged spear militia. The great thing about Hungarian spear militia is that they don't have the plus eight combat to cavalry. Or combat bonus to cavalry, better said. So yeah, that's uh, that's fun for them. But they have plenty of other really good units. Oh, that's a nice uh, snowy little day. Yeah, I think I'll do with a, a little bit of snowfall. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Oh, we have filthy slob mercenaries. Oh, we actually don't have any respectable infantry whatsoever. Hmm, that's a pity. But it'll be fine. We, yeah, we, 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 can take, uh, we can take Budapest to this. Alright, here we go. I think that's a pretty damn decent setup. Uh, I really don't see any other way that we're getting into this town other than just blitzing the hell out of them. So, let's go. You there, you there. You head to the gate. You follow right behind. You over there and run. You over there and run these archers should start firing right now yet yeah, there we go they are in range the sapahis however are not let's get them further up a little bit and start assisting a little our siege tower is looking pretty good nothing's burnt yet i think they're making yet yeah, they're getting there okay they're there good speed it down those gates are coming down get you guys off the ram and was there anything even on these walls? Did they just vacate the walls? Yeah, I think they took these uh, spear militia off. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay. Uh, so we'll get them. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're fighting spear militia right there. That's fine. Uh, the gate taking a little bit of a while to uh, to get taken down. Just a, a tiny little bit. Let's get our archers kind of up here and see if they can fire right into that general unit. I wonder if the Sapahis can make it. We'll make them. We'll make the Sapahis make it. Because really the only troubling unit in the field, on the field right now, better said, uh, is this general unit. So that's really all I'm worried about. Get all our archers firing right into that unit. Yeah, it looks like they can too. Good, good. We'll get them on guard mode as well, just in case. Um, I won't commit any ground troops just yet going through the gate. Let's see what damage we can do to them. They do have 61. That's quite a bit. You know what? Screw it. Just, uh, yeah, commit the three spear troops here. Spears will do good work against cavalry, even though they'll get, uh, incredibly damaged. Let's get these Ghazis, uh, coming off. Yeah, you're gonna come off the wall. You're not gonna engage a general, but you're gonna swing around back of these spear militia and flank them. And we'll actually have this spear unit come over this way. So just these guys attacking the general. Actually, you know, if we can speed up this process and get those Slav mercenaries over here attacking that Spear Militia, that'll be fine. Uh, Ghazis will actually probably do a pretty damn good job against the General Unit too, so yeah, screw it. Just send them right on up. And I'll get these guys coming up that wall. You as well, come on up that wall. General's Bodyguard down to 53. That's pretty good work right there. Alright, you guys are up on the wall. Now start moving on over this way. See if you can break him. It's the same unit, though. Who just broke? Oh. These guys he's over here just broke. That's a pity. Mm. And the Slav mercenaries I just sent up the wall to flank broke. <laughs> Fine. Uh, this crap infantry. Just good Turkish troops. Hey. The enemy king is dead. That's, that'll help. That'll help quite a little bit here. Yeah. They'll probably start. Yeah. All the stuff on the wall is breaking now. Good, 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 good. That general unit surprisingly wants to come outside. Um, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to come outside. Uh, I'd prefer, you know what, yeah, let's try to get all this stuff off the walls. Get these Ghazis off the wall there too. See if we can kind of encircle them a tiny little bit. We do still have all our, oh, there, oh, the general unit broke and there's nothing to mop it up. Oh, damn. Well, he, no, you know what, we actually, uh, we actually took quite a little bit of that down. That's not bad. Um, I guess they don't, yeah, they don't have anything on the plaza. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll end that there and, and lose, uh, no more than 500 men. <laughs> oh, pitiful non-Turkish infantry troops. Uh, 
It's a large town, so it's not even a minor city yet. Do I sack it? It's probably very Catholic. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sack that. All right, so we took that. Let's go ahead and merge up all this stuff. That's a unit of 42 Ghazis. Yeah, you can go. Uh, we'll merge up all these Slav mercenaries as well. That unit of 33 can go. And the Turkish archers, that unit of 76 is fine. And 66, yeah, we're good to put that into them. Sadly, no increase of XP around the board. And sadly, we are going to have to wait till next turn to take Budapest. That's a pity, but uh, it I, I look relatively uncontested around here. Let's just make sure of that. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing around here that can, uh, that can take that army out. They'll probably... I guess in a last-ditch effort, they'll attack me from the back. Um, but I should be able to take them out. I wonder, should I get another unit? No. Uh, no, I've got uh, plenty. Even though this is an incredibly damaged army, there's those are really good units. So whatever comes our way, we should be able to take them on. And sadly, King Fabian cannot make it all the way to Budapest, so they'll be eradicated next turn. Oh, well. Kiev's relatively undefended. That's nice. Now, what do we do? Wow, 12 Sapahis in a, in the pool. That's impressive. All right, let's get those dismounted down. Let's get uh, two more units of Ottoman infantry out as well. Because um, even though, I mean, they're incredibly good archers, but they also substitute very, very easily as um, melee foot infantry with the stats they have in their swords. So that's pretty damn good. Oh, and we can retrain these uh, incredibly depleted units of dismounted Sapahi Lancers too. That's nice. Sadly, yeah, we can't get Ottoman infantry just yet retraining there for that 17 to come up. But uh, let's go ahead and get a unit of Sipahi archers there. Ragusa is looking pretty damn good. It can retrain a little bit too. Very, very nice. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And we'll go ahead and plunk down that Ottoman infantry too. Kaffa has upgraded to a wooden palisade. Um, Kasim ad let's see. You have Farin rule. So this Masjid will probably trigger... You know what? Um, I'm not sure I really care at this point in time. I really just want to kind of start sweeping through and taking the world over. So I think we will just go ahead and take... Let's see, that's Sarkil, that's Kiev. This was... That was Ryazan, but that's way up there. Oh, Sarkil is about to be taken over here. Can the infantry actually make it there? I'm not sure. So, as always, doing the cavalry trick. There we go. Sarkel has... with a potential three units up on the walls, so that's okay. Uh, we'll just go in with a bunch of ladders. Yep, we can get all five. Good. And we have six infantry. Six uh, melee infantry, better said, so that's good. Let's get this admiral. I don't think we need him around here for now. Um, well, we can at least help to get this army. Yeah, we, we can do that. That's that's the least we can do. Yeah, we'll get you guys out. Uh, if we take everything except for you, what do you drop to? You're yellow, 95%. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That'll do. So we get that there and we get that right there. Ah, there we go. Look, look at all that movement he was able to do with catapults. Yeah, going up here would have taken like three turns. So that's fine. We're in the Sarkel region, but we'll just blast past it and go up to Riazan, which is not this one. It should be, let's see, if that's the river right there, it should be like right around here, the castle of Riazan. Yeah, right around there. Right there. All right, uh, so we'll get him heading up that way. Pretty sure I had a spy around here, but I think it's this guy who was moving off in this direction. Yeah, I don't really have many spies. Let's see. One, two, three spies. That's it. One in Thessalonica. We'll keep him there. I don't know if that uh, unrest is being caused by an enemy spy or what. No, not really. I think that's just natural unrest and religious unrest. So you know what? That spy there is actually pretty damn useless. So we'll go ahead and take him out. We'll start swinging him up this way. Like around there. And then where was that other spy? Istanbul. Oh, in Istanbul. Uh, yeah, unless... Um, the crusade is still on Cairo. 
So they won't be crusading Istanbul anytime soon because that, that is something that happens a lot. Oh, why do I have so many imams in here? <laughs> Where did all these guys come from? Because I've just been building imams and not moving them out. No matter. All right, so they've got a spy in there. Yeah, we'll move. We'll start moving him up here too because it's going to be a real pain in the ass. This is like massive, massive open areas. Very few settlements. Um, and it's going to be hard plunking watchtowers down all over the place, so we're going to have to do it with a little bit of spy work. Oh, and Istanbul can definitely take five turns and spend 3,200 florins to go from 1,314 to 1,911. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to pay for itself really, really nice. Oh, and I see you can get a warehouse, too. What's the increase in that? Is that from 1,225 to 7 feet? Yeah, 1,753. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, depleting our money uh, rather quick, but um, it's all worth it in the end. And seeing how it is, turn 64, and next turn we're going to get the notification for the Mongol invasion. Uh, I think we're going to have to start getting out some units around the area. Um, it's going to take a while to build this all up, but we should have a couple more turns, and I think we're going to have to dedicate pretty much all of the income we get for the next two or three turns on just building up an army around here. I've been saving it till this point because I didn't really need it until now, but I'm going to need it soon. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep moving Mustafa on over. He's got those nice, uh, oh, what, oh, is it because, oh, damn, he's an admiral with a star. Ah, fine, you know what, we'll put you in front, then we'll merge them into you next turn. See, so yeah, we'll keep moving uh, Admiral Baraka, transporting Sultan Mustafa on over to Tripoli. We'll be able to take that over nice and quick. Then moving on up to Tunis. I don't know if we'll just hold at Tunis and not invade our Moorish brothers just yet. We'll probably hold at Tunis and start taking over uh, Cagliari and Ajaccio. Ajaccio. Ajac I have no idea how that's pronounced. And then have this uh, army sweep up the Italian peninsula once they get trained up a little bit. Speaking of... Oh yeah, that's right. They were retraining already so Zagreb's taken Venice has one settlement left we'll be able to get these stupid cardinals out of Rhodes Hungary's about to fall and we're gonna start taking our war to the Polish and eventually the Russians as well because sadly there is uh we did eradicate the Byzantines but that doesn't mean that all of orthodoxy in the game has been wiped out no no not yet we still have plenty more of filthy orthodoxy to battle oh, I wish there was a Scottish something around here such a pity that there's just nothing around we'll we'll find you know what when we sweep through europe and start invading england uh we'll find them we'll find them we'll get their map information and trade rights for a turn or two and then we'll eradicate them too anyway let's go ahead and end the turn and see what fate has in store for the ottoman empire not much movement a princess moving around and she's seeing a princess at this point in the game hmm Oh, Hungary's attacking me from behind, just as I thought, but that's good. We, all we have to do really is uh, put up a worthy defense against Petri Corvinus and Captain Damjam. Oh, that's that's all the garrison in Budapest? Hmm, Hungary. Hungry, hungry, hungry. All right, and Corvinus has good infantry, good infantry, but he, they just don't have the numbers. Oh, the Hungarians chose a nice little day, not a cloud in the sky. Oh, sorry, one cloud. Yeah, we're really lacking infantry, aren't we? That's fine. I mean, if they're attacking us on the field, we're not really going to need much infantry. Because uh, this will do. Yeah, that'll... That, oh, didn't notice that Saracen Militia there. All right, so we do have that Saracen Militia as well. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've just got the raw numbers. I mean, there's really not much... Hold up. Okay, so they're attacking us from the south. The Garrison Army is up here in the north. Do we just wipe them out? You know what, I think that's such a horrible thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll just, uh... Oh, look at them coming into the battle. Hello! Excuse me. Is this the battle against the Ottomans? Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. You're, you're not Hungarians. Oh, dear. Oh, poor bastards. And they're just getting pelted to pieces. The Hungarian nobles coming in now, trying to badly bloody their last-ditch effort to charge us. Oh, that captain on his white steed. Oh, charge. 
Nope, run away, run away. Better better to run away than to charge. Uh, just go in circles. Oh, you're doing the Cantabrian circle. Gotcha. Well, you don't have uh, any arrows. Anyway, they're... Yeah, they're... You know what? Uh, we'll just get our Sipai here. Or, you screw it. The gen go general, go there. You guys start concentrating on this. Get up this hill. Fire it well off. You guys fire it well off as well. Start moving sort of over here-ish. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Good. Go run, and you guys... Oh, there, is that the captain? Yeah, that is, that is the captain. The captain's just running away now. He's like, no, no, I, I, I don't think I want to be a part of this. Thank you. It's funny how he's uh, not technically a missile unit, but he's still on skirmish. That is interesting. Charge! Ch charge! Oh, yeah, he's still skirmishing. All right, that's fine. I mean, he's not going to do anything to us. And let's get all of you back on fire at will. Those are Hungarian nobles coming in. Well, I'm probably going to want you guys to swing around and attack the general. Yeah, that strikes me as a pretty damn good idea. So get on up here, get around back, and attack that general. We just had the our general. Who was this? Was this, uh... Oh, Kush, 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 Dan? I don't remember his name. So that Pavis militia crossbow's moving back. They've been engaged slightly, but not with a good charge. Let's get our Sepahis running up back here. Let's get our general pulling back, 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 back. Run if you would be so kind. And you guys just kind of stop and fire into that general. There you go. Yeah, he'll take a good amount of damage, hopefully, before even... Hopefully not hitting any of my troops. I'll put them on skirmish, so they don't really do anything. They do have dismounted feudals coming in. So let's go ahead and get our guys nice and engaged and committed. Uh, we'll just have these missile units firing into those Hungarian nobles and these guys firing at whoever they want. Why are the police crossbow militia melee charging my general? I'm not sure. don't really know why. But I think if this guy's going to charge me now, we'll take my general unit and just parade him around in front of the missile troops. Yeah, that'll work. If they want to do that. Saracen militia going up against dismounted feudal knights. Arr! Not the best. Okay, let's get you right on up there and parade that general around right in front of my missile troops. That'll work a little bit. They've actually got a pretty damn good thing going here, I will admit. My infantry is going to get chewed apart by all these uh, dismounted heavy infantry guys. So that's a little bit of a pity, but their general should be dropping soon. Um, we can actually probably do a last ditch effort and get... Yeah, we'll have our general charge into them now. You guys stop firing and assist here and start slamming into the back of all this. That'll work. Hopefully, hopefully what happens is that our general unit of 39 kills their general unit of 6 before uh, they kill us. That that would be pleasant. That would be the agreeable thing to happen in this game. Good. Okay, we killed them. Yeah, we got their general before their general got us. So all of this, once we start slamming into it all, should break. Should Mm, and when I say should, well, we've got one breaking there. Good. One's broken there, but they're fighting to the death. So let's give them some room. Give them some room. Yeah, give them some room. They broke. They broke two. Keep going after them. Come on. Give them room. Get there. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought our guy died there. He finally attacked. Yay. What a brave bastard. They have not broken yet. So let's pull out there. Yeah, our general is fine here. He can go for that Pavis Cro... No, you know what? Yeah, we'll get these guys assisting our Turkish horse archers. Even though they're so crap, do I even care? Yeah, I care. I care. I'm a caring person. Let's get right there, slam into that. They're wavering, so they should break. As soon as we touch them, they should break. Yep, they're broken. General is going for that Pavis crossbow. We'll actually uh, encircle them on all sides. Oh, they broke before we got to them. So really all that's left is this one unit of dismounted uh, feudal knights just kind of sitting there like, No, I will kill you all, you bastards. They are going up against Janissary Heavy Infantry, though. Granted, it's only 17. So yeah, we, we lost all our infantry. <laughs> but this is fine. This is this is fine. We're still going to take the town because we killed... Oh, they did have a lot of those uh, Pavis Crossbow Militia retreat, though, off the map, didn't they? Hmm. Well, hopefully it was enough to kill the garrison in the town. 
Hopefully. Um, that's that's actually surprising. Let's get these Sapahis to charge into them. Hopefully they'll break from being charged in the back with their general dead, their entire army broken and routed and killed, and they, they just don't care. They don't care. They don't care that this is a crushing defeat for them. Still wavering with a charge to the back. Still wave. There we go. <laughs> nah, clean them up. Clean them up. Let's get them all nice and executed and captured. But yeah, they took a damn long time to break. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I could use a unit of you guys. Alright, so we killed Captain Damjam, Petri Corvinus, and everything is nice and mopped up. Good. Last guy. There we go. This is a most crushing victory. Your name will live in marble and our foes in sand. Thank you. Yeah, that's a nice one. So we only lost 434 there, and we did get a head-on charge from heavy infantry, so that's a, th those are acceptable numbers. I'll take that. And do we automatically get the city and the jihad? Um, Why? Yeah, execute the lot of you. Uh, we should get Budapest, and hopefully that's not a cancelled crusade because it just falls to us automatically from emptiness. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's a... Oh, sorry, jihad, 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 jihad. Successful jihad. Yes, successful jihad. Good. Uh, no, no explorers guild. Oh, that's right. Turn sixty-five. <laughs> the Mongols are invading. We don't know where yet, though. That's going to come in the next one to five turns. So anywhere from here to turn seventy, we don't know where they're coming from yet. Uh, but no, I won't. I will not blockade Tripoli. I couldn't care less. All right. So successful jihad. Uh, 59 units get experience, 2,000 florins, good, 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 good. Uh, you guys can go ahead and get into... There you go. Now you're nice and merged, and keep heading on over to Tripoli. Take that from the Sicilian dogs. Hungary has been destroyed. Oh, Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. Well, that army, I guess, just went rebel in the fog of war. Yeah, there they are. Elek Hidek, no, that's not, uh, that's not King, what's his name? Ah, there we go, Fabian Miklos is, was King Fabian, now he's just Fabian the Rebel, the Magyar Rebel. Kushkadam, Kushkadam Adikan, that, that was your name, what a great name, seriously, what a good name. Oh, that's some really bad movement, oh man, oh man, oh man, uh... We won't do any siege equipment. We'll only just have this one army, I guess. If you know, if it's not even that much of a hassle to even take Riazan, we'll just drop the siege equipment because it's really just slowing us down. I mean, look at this. You drop that, and you can already move. You can be up there in yellow turn. And here it's going to take blue turn. Ugh. Do I even bother with siege equipment? No, you know what? All this territory is just too vast. It's too big. Yeah, no. Screw the siege equipment. Start moving without it. Yeah, just get up there. Get up there in yellow turn. In yellow turn, you should be able to hit Riazan. You guys can go hit uh, Halic. All right, yeah, that's all I can do. Let's go ahead and end the turn, see what uh, happens. Yeah, there was a little bit of more agent, agent movement that I had to do, but that's fine. Same as the AI, that seems to be all they're doing. We're not at war yet with the Holy Roman Empire. That won't last long, though. We now have land borders with them, so... It's uh, pretty much the inevitable. Oh, there's still a Polish ship. Oh, that's right. They have a port. Oh, they can still build ships up here. Damn. Oh, they have two ports. Yeah, they've got Sarkel and Kiev. Ah, let's see if we can find them. Slow this down a little bit. Uh, yes. Kill. Kill. Die. Oh, didn't sink him. Damn. He fled off to, I guess, somewhere up here. That's fine. Just keep going down and blockade Bosphorus. A lot of good. That's a lot of really good recruitment going on there. It's going to eat into our savings a tiny little bit, or our profit, better said. Oh. <gasps> oh, please tell me. Okay, first off, please tell me that there's nothing in the way. Second off, please tell me that once there is something in... Once you land, once you land... Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, get right there. Right there. Can you... Can you please, please, please? You have catapults? No, you can't. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Yes, Fuck. Okay, so we cannot take Tripoli this turn. That's a pity. That is a pity. Oh. Oh, sell him. 
Selim died. Oh, he didn't quite manage to get that up to 24,000. And it's not growing. And it's not growing and we're getting militia draw square instead of anything else. That's fine. We'll get the council chambers after that. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay, sorry. Yes, I know. I clicked on you a lot. Please shut up. Yes, Sultan. <sighs> Cute audio. I'll cut this out. Yes, Sultan. We close for battle. We will engage them honorably. Yes, Sultan. Mm -hmm. We close for battle. Yep. We will engage them honorably. Oh, will you? Yes, Sultan. Hello. We close for battle. Uh huh. This will be an honorable yeah. battle. Yeah. Sure. Yes, Sultan. Mm -hmm. We close for battle. Yes. We will engage them honorably. Uh huh. Yes, Sultan. <laughs> we close. I wonder how long this is going to take. Uh, my ears. Yes, Sultan. All right, we'll be back. Oh, he finally stopped. All right, uh, Scottish, Scottish, nah, -uh. nah, -uh, Sultan. All right, uh, so we have no money left, and we can't assault anything. Oh wait, you can get no. Yeah, still can't assault anything. Mm. Oh, I was really hoping that Sultan Mustafa could get up to Tripoli in that one go. But apparently not. That's sad. Yeah, you can keep on going up to Riazan. You... Oh, that's right. We have Sarkel now. Oh, we can take Sarkel. I had forgotten about that. So we do have a battle we can do before we end the turn. Good, good, good. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. Just make sure there's nothing else to move around. Everything's looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and take Sarkel. It's going to open up a nice little massive piece of land here. Captain Svietopelk. Svietopelk. Svietopelk? So, a possible three people on the walls. This will be fine. Alright, I think everything's in place. Um, I don't want to really... It, it's pretty useless to have archers lobbing stuff up into the air. So, I'm just going to keep them back for now. And have them go up into range once we actually get the gate down and get through. I'll put them up here on the walls. And, yeah, they should have the range to just fire into the plaza and annihilate everything. That'll be nice. So let's go ahead and go, pause, you get there, you get there and run, you get there and run, and same for you three. Beautiful, 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 go. Thankfully they don't have ballista towers. Dismounted Polish nobles will do a pretty damn decent job standing up to dismounted spy lancers, but I do have three units to one, so that's okay, we should take them down with relative ease. Here's going to be a little bit more complicated, Yeah, we've got one unit to one, one unit to one, but they are peasants. Oh, that's going to be difficult. You know what? Yeah, go for the peasants, and you guys uh, just back off. Back up. Do not go up the ladders. Do not go up the ladders. Do not. No, no, no. You're coming over here, and you're going to walk through the gate nice and peacefully, and you're not going to lose 80% of your troop fighting dismounted Polish nobles on the walls. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys can, however, go for the peasants. Do I have to babysit you? Yes, I forgot. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Damn it. Get up! This side. Over there. Those ladders. Th those are your ladders. They were assigned to you. No. 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 Just get over here. There you go. Good. Good dismounted Sapahi Lancers. Okay, now get up there. Uh, that's all my infantry. Yeah. All my melee infantry. The gate's gonna come down soon. Let's lower this down to one. Gate's gonna come down next hit. Boom! Yes, yes, come, Polish nobles. You're all going to die now to superior spear units. Get in there. Get, no, drop the, drop the ram, drop the ram. Now just run right in there. Run right in. This all came off the walls. All of you guys can get down nice and quick. Hopefully capturing all those, capturing, capturing all those dismounted Polish nobles. Good, you guys got the peasants off the walls. Yes, yes, yes. Can you, I told you to run in, run in. Fine, just attack. Uh, you guys can kind of encircle them, come around back here. That's actually... Oh, that's the general unit, and he's down! <laughs> oh, the serpent's head has been cut off. Captain Svietopelk. Svietopelk. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but that's fine. Svietopelk sounds good enough. Anyway, you guys encircle the peasants. You guys come, just come try to get... As far as you you guys oh go yeah go this way you guys go that way and because once they start uh, actually running for the plaza 
going to be hard to capture them, so go ahead and... Okay, you attack now, and you keep going, and you... I told you... I How many times do I have to tell you to get over here? Get over here! Run! Through the Polish nobles. Okay, good. You guys have actually made it through here, so you can just come around here and encircle all of this cavalry. That'll work. You guys can... Do they have any missile units? No, they don't. How are they? Oh, that's right. The Polish nobles are technically missile units. The bastards. All right, well, let's get our... Oh, no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop firing into my own men. Damn it. You guys get over here. And you get... Like, here. Uh, yeah, something like something like that. You stay there. Right there. Right there. Right there. You go over there. Make sure we... Oh, damn. They're broke. Yeah, they broke. They broke. They're going to make it back to the plaza. Ah. Ah. Fine, you stop. Stop, just stay right here. We will have our missile infantry wipe up the rest of this bat. Oh, damn it, damn it. Screw you guys. All right, you get in there. You guys just fire at them. Stop moving fire. Because if they're going to keep doing this, if they're going to keep doing the bait, then we'll just uh, pummel about 500 arrows into them in one volley. There we go. Not really 500, more like 10, but that works. And they're broken at 26. And so keep moving. Yeah, keep moving along. Keep running along. Are you a full unit? Is there anything around here stuck on a building or something? No? Okay, get up there. Get up there. Run. Now you guys get uh, over here. Run. And you guys get uh, like here-ish and run. And the last of you get right there and run. Go. Uh, you guys are engaging dismounted Polish nobles. That's fine. Sapahis, how far away are you? Oh, you're pretty far away. Let's just get the general to do it. Yeah, get on up there. Get on up there. Slam them in the back. But we'll get the Sapahis in here anyway. Probably here. Oh, those Polish nobles wanted some more. And we're going to eat into their units so much there. Yeah, we got a nice little encircle. That was good. That was good. And you guys are shaking. Well, you won't be shaking for long. You're going to be broken soon. There you go. Nice and broken. That's a full unit of dismounted Polish nobles just completely chewed up by a nice little flank. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's make sure to get as many as we can before pulling out. Get you guys over here. You guys over here. And our archers can now stop moving and fire at will. Why are you not firing? Why are you not... Why are you not firing? Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. So uh, we didn't really need to do this whole maneuver. We could have just killed everyone with uh, spears, but uh, whatever. It's fun. Speed it up. Let's get a supply. He's right in here, too, in case they want uh, a piece of the action. But it looks like everything's going to die before they get there. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well. Good, good. Keep Buga. Men lost. 248. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have done better, but that was okay. Alhamdulillah! Allah has granted us and how large is this? Oh, that's pretty damn small. Don't want to sack that. No, no, just occupy it. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Poland, what have you been doing? Well, they've only had it for like 10 turns-ish, if even. So yeah, that's fine. Um, He is a 10 chivalry, though. We're probably going to leave him in there until this is at least a fortress, because that is pitiful. That is just absolutely, absolutely pitiful. So here we go. Tezkan, you can go ahead and take all of this with Nafatun. Yeah, that's a nice little force. Uh, yes, we'll take all of you. Go up there. We'll just have you. That's a nice little force. That's a really, really nice little force. Yeah, I like that. That's a good force. And we will have you going up to Novgorod. Oh, damn. Why do you want to go around that way? I guess because of bridges and stuff. Hmm. Well, what else is around here? Riazan, that's going to be taken over way over here. Uh, where was Vilnius? Vilnius, I think, is like... Oh, there you go. Vilnius. Yeah, it was like around here, the keep of Vilnius. But I'm pretty sure this guy's probably... It's going to probably be his next target after he takes Halic. That's... Okay, that's going to be interesting. But we'll just have you kind of heading up this away. Like that. Yeah, there you go. Keep going up that way. See what you can do. That's all our agent movement. Um, we've got that boat coming in at Corinth to transport that. Got some good moves coming out of here. We are going to be taking Tripoli next turn, so that's fine as well. I won't click on you too many times to cut another 10 minutes out of this video. And I wasn't able to train a merchant, I don't think. No. And I still don't have any more money. Oh well, that's fine. We'll end the turn. 
Hopefully we don't get uh, the Mongols just yet. Holy Roman Empire doing some moves. Uh, the Venetians are building up a little navy. I wonder if they wanted landfall somewhere. Ends, great Sultan. Ooh, big army came out of Halic. And a suitable, suitable husband for Seruda ad But he speaks of loyalty and he only has one chivalry and he's 28. So, no. No thank you. Oh, no. That was so early. Easy to become no. Wait, wait, wait. From Oh, Sarkel. Oh, I'm saved. I am saved. Look beyond the known world is to risk a rude awakening that can become a nightmare. This nightmare is the Mongol invasion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so they came in at Sarkel. So I'm assuming, yeah, I, I should have clicked on the little thing. I forgot to, but yeah, I'm assuming they're coming in either here or is this still Sarkel? Yeah, this is st still Sarkel as well, technically. So they're either coming in from here or from here, but that's fine because they only have really a few, or if they want to start attacking my stuff, they'll either go for Tbilisi, which is a really nice stronghold, and we're building up some good troops here. Let's get three more archer units there. So they'll either go for Tbilisi first, or, or what the Mongols really, really, really like to do, I don't know why, but they really like to go straight for Antioch, so they'll just kind of come moving all the way down here, like, oh, do do do, oh, look at all these rivers, oh. This is a nice little city. Let's set up camp here. And it tends to be the first uh, city that the AI Mongols go for. So that's why I've been getting Ballista Towers and growing it up nicely. Got a lot of good stuff we can recruit here. If I see that that's happening, and I'll just fill this place up with Janissary Heavy Infantry. Uh, hopefully, hopefully by the time they make it down here. Because they take forever to do it, too. That's another problem with the AI Mongol invasion. Um, they take forever to do what they want to do. The Timurids, not so much. The Timurids are pretty damn decisive. But the Mongols can take, like, 40 turns to even begin to do something. It's incredibly stupid sometimes. Pretty damn good recruit. Oh, that's right. We got that War Galleon Corinth. Let's see if we can... Oh, damn it. Ah. Oh, where are you going for? Did I just spot you trying to move another army down into Heracleon? Did I just spot you doing that? <laughs> you know what? I might actually want to... Oh, they can make it there too in one turn. Like, I'll probably just... You know what? Let's go ahead and get two more Saracen Militia there just in case. Um, and let's get a Dao and two Sipahis here. Just just in case. Just in case. But we'll see what that... Uh, ooh, and Corinth just became a Citadel. So yeah, if they if they landfall here, we'll, we'll hold them off with this defense. That'll be more than enough to defend. If not, if they bypass us... We'll bring those Sipahis down from Smyrna. We'll take this army up to the Italian peninsula and assist with... Oh. Hello. Hey, Baybars of Samarkand is now in Palermo. That actually works because um, we can take Lachin out and kind of do some stuff with the little army he has and we can leave Baybars in here and build up like the one Masjid... Uh, get him another point of chivalry. Skewed view, great. Chivalrous father. <laughs> That's the one point of chivalry he has. It's from chivalrous father. <laughs> uh, speaks of loyalty, great. Negative one loyalty. Well, he is brave, so I guess that's something. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty bad general. I don't specifically remember. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, damn, there we go. Yeah, okay, it's in the southern part of Sarkel. It's not up here. Okay, so I do still have that uh, that thing. We'll be ready for them. We will, however, get... We'll start getting that Masjid. Hopefully, Kushkadam can get his eighth point of chivalry before he, we move him out. He is still very, very nice and young, so that's good. Osman's kind of old, and he's got Honorable Ruler. Wow, where is he losing, I guess, from Dread? Battle Dread? Yeah, cruel and cunning, lacks compassion. Yeah, I mean, we do have him kind of executing everyone, so we, we won't focus too much on his chivalry. Uh, we'll get that town hall instead for a tiny bit of growth before getting that crop rotation in Zagreb. And we're going to have to bring Jack Mac out of Durazo in a little bit. I don't want Jack Mac, my prize general, just sitting in a crappy little town growing it up. He is giving it 8% growth, so that's quite frankly amazing. 
but I don't think I want that to be Jack Max fate for the rest of the game. So we are going to have to bring him up and swing by Ragusa and take that army. Also probably, well, you know what, we're going to have Jack Mac take, that's right, fucking Rome. Jack Mac is going to take Rome. That's exactly what he's going to do. And you guys can keep going. Ooh, that is a big army, though, that just appeared out of Halich. Oh, and they've got really good charge cavalry. These guys are seriously badass. Oh, that's one hell of an army. That is one hell of an army. A lot of mercenaries, but just if this is a third unit of Knights Hospitaller, I am screwed. I am absolutely screwed. These guys are ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. They are so, so, so good. Um, they will just decimate my army with you know two or three charge and pull out charges they will just tear me apart so that's actually i'm glad i saw that i'm glad we have that assassin there who cannot assassinate the faction <laughs> i'm glad we saw that to make sure we'll probably have to do a little bit of merging with these two armies to take that on because that is a massively crazy army all right so you're up there you have four infantry we'll load you up with two more and you have four units of archers. We'll put two more. And you've got three room, room for three left. You have two skirmishers, one charge. Yeah, you know what? There we go. That's a that's a really nice army to take. <laughs> Maybe a little bit overkill to take that on, but we'll get Kasim over coming this way. See what we can train up here in Iyasi. Yeah, definitely more Sipahis. Uh, I don't really want to train any more Turkish archers. Yeah, we'll get Sipahis and for now nothing else ah that's a pity i really wanted to start branching out and taking different settlements but then that big badass army with crazy ass charge cavalry had to come along so yeah unfortunately we had to have a full stack army again just from me being a coward which is fine which is fine you're inching ever closer to riazan can't see it just yet it's it's like right here <laughs> it's just there in the fog of war but yeah, we are moving a lot of stuff around here. Kiev seems to have gotten a little bit more reinforced since last I saw it. Yeah, it looks like the Polish are starting to know what's up. Well, they should. We've been at war with them for a while through their stupid crusade. But yeah, okay, so that's got one infantry, two archer units. Let's put the rest of pretty much all of this into that army. Yeah, but we don't have much infantry. We're probably going to have to hire the Slav mercenaries. Yeah. Um, that's 350 a pop. Yeah, we'll just get all four of them now, make sure the AI doesn't get them. We're gonna need them to climb walls and push rams and stuff like that. So we'll get that, and we'll have you going around this way. Meanwhile, Kait can stay in Iyasi, growing that up nicely. He'll probably get that up to Citadel in a couple of turns here. Oh, damn. Okay, Istanbul region's up to 97% Islam. Let's get all of you guys out of there. That's just a waste of Islam. Get these boats down to the Bosphorus, blockade that up nice and... Actually, yeah, let's get you guys down here, just to make sure nothing uh, blockades these two ports. Alright, so for the time being, that's pretty much all I can do. All our movement... Yeah, all our movement has been done. Uh, we still just have a little bit of retraining and, and growing and unrest being settled. Uh, going on around here, so I don't really want to move any armies out here, and we're going to have to prepare a little bit more before uh, finally taking on Venice and then going to war with the Imperials. Um, so I think there's really nothing we can do except take Tripoli. Yeah, we'll get the gates down with our catapults and just rush in with our infantry. They shouldn't be on the walls anyway if we're out of range. They'll probably all retreat back to the plaza. Okay, no, it is just a castle. There is only one level. Um, so if we come in here actually through the back, that'll actually be pretty damn good and then they'll all be in the plaza and kind of funneling down here and then we can come in and do a lot of flanking stuff. I remember there was a, what was the castle we took that was incredibly similar to this? I don't remember. No matter. Absolutely no matter. Alright, go ahead and start this up. Are we in range? No, not yet, but it looks like they are all pulling back. Yes, they are all pulling back. Let's get let them get all the way up there. Bring our catapults to about here, and that should be fine to take the gates down. The gates oh, the, oh, the gates didn't even get slightly damaged. That was incredibly confusing. All right, uh, so slow this down, because they're going to be rushing to the walls. All our infantry, come on, come on, let me line it up, let me line it up. No, are you gonna? Are you seriously gonna do this to me right now? There we go. Okay, get all of you guys right there, right there, right there. 
get our Ottoman infantry coming on up. Run, run, run. Everyone run. Uh, Sepahis kind of get over here just in case anyone decides to get in range. They should. Yeah, there we go. All our spear units are coming in. Good, good, good. Let's keep you guys just moving up a little bit. Everyone kind of wants to stop, but that's... No, I really want you kind of piling right up into here. Oh, maybe we can get a unit of Sapahis inside and flanking around. Oh, that would... You know what? That's actually a pretty damn good idea. Let's get our Sapahis coming around a bit. Um, yeah. Let's get you... Can you... Can you do... Follow that order? Hopefully you go around the side and not up a stupid alleyway. We'll babysit that in just a second. But they are just charging us with their peasant archers. Uh, that works if you don't want to stop and fight yeah that that's totally fine for me by me i have no problem with that okay you know what yeah stop right there stop right there stop right there we'll just have these two units kind of hold them off hold them off while everything else flanks around them our archers get up on the walls and we should be able to take out a nice chunk of this army for no problem here pretty much our sapahi's getting into a really good position yeah, just don't engage, don't engage. Whatever you do, don't engage. You're kind of walking weirdly through these Sapahi Lancers. Let's get all the way around there. Get all the way around. All right, so these Sapahis are in a pretty damn good position here. Let's start encroaching right up behind them. Yeah, oh, this is nice. That's a nice chunk of army we're about to flank. Hopefully you don't realize. The AI tends to realize what you're doing. And they move out nice and quick. But hopefully... We managed to get our three Sapahis flanking right around here. That'll be great. Yeah, you guys just keep engaging there. And it looks like their first peasant archers are still eager. So we'll just have them, you know what? We'll have them here just kind of firing some. Okay, they're shaking now. They're shaking and actually moving in. They're not moving back to the plaza. That's good. Yeah, I like that. They do have spear militia in there. Yeah, we'll just keep you guys there and firing into the back of here. Yeah, that works. Our two units uh, engaged in melee are doing pretty damn well. I don't know if they picked up that experience in this fight here, but they're doing very, very well. And let's get you guys starting to move up into here. I don't know what the hell you guys did with the order I gave you, but, you know, movement, movement. Okay, now, the, oh, they're all nice and committed. Let's just slam right into the back of them with my Sapahis. Oh, this is all going to break. Oh, we're going to just eat into this army. Ah, oh, just don't crash on me. I'm getting some FPS drops here. Just don't crash. I don't want to do this again. This is looking really damn good. <laughs> Please don't crash. And wavering, shaken, wavering, broken, broken, broken. Everything's broken. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Look at that capture going up. 130, 140, 150, 60, 80, 90, 200. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at all that just being captured alive. Oh, that's great. 390, 400 captured. Ah, oh, 450 captured. Everything just captured. They are bringing a unit up here behind us. Are we are, are we capturing their general unit? Yes, we are. <gasps> we have captured the enemy general. Oh, that's great. That is great. They are coming up behind me, though. Let's get our Sapahis out of here. Get our Sapahis out just through the front. Don't go backwards. If we need to, we'll bring them, uh, we'll flank them around again. But that's good. That is so good. And we'll give you guys a rest. Group, get out here. Yeah, you come out here. You come out here. You are no longer in the fight. We'll give you a nice rest. Put this unit of dismounted Sapahis right there. And put this unit uh, also right there. And as soon as that, that's a lot of cavalry. Oh, that's a lot of cavalry. If I can eat all, yeah, if I can eat all that up. By capturing it, that would be absolutely gorgeous. Let's get it. Let's just do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Get all of our Sapahis around the back. We'll just have you stop. We'll have you all actually now fire at will. That works. Are you guys up for the most part? Yeah, you, you're getting there. You're getting there. Everyone else is firing into them. Hopefully they charge into my units here. Everyone's on guard mode. And you guys start coming around the back. Rinse and repeat. Always good. If something works, don't break it. All of our archers are firing now right into them. Hopefully they don't break too early. I want, I really want these guys to get right in there. Oh, one unit broke at 56. That's a pity. That's a pity. Maybe I shouldn't have started firing into them. 
But it's okay. Oh, two units broke. Damn, come on, Sabai. He's going to run. <laughs> Stop firing. Stop firing. You're doing it too quickly. You're doing it too quickly. No. Come on. Get on up there. Get on up there. Get on up. Get on up. Nail Knights, 41, 41. Can we eat into them a little bit? Oh, just a tiny little bit. Come on, guys. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, that's such a pity. I really wanted to just lap all of this up. Clean my saucer. Oh, they're down to 25. That's fine. They still have a lot of infantry left here. Two units of armored... Three units of armored sergeants. Oh, that's going to be a pain. And one peasants. Yeah, they saved all the, all the good stuff to last. That's a pity. Uh, those mailed knights are steady. We'll have these dismounteds come up behind them. I don't want... Oh, did they... Did they regroup? No, that's that's all the steady unit. Okay, shaken... It's 74. Our Sapahis are dropping like flies. Yeah, this is melee cavalry against skirmish cavalry. It's not the best in the world. We are losing a lot of Sapahis, but once these dismounted Sapahi Lancers come up and touch them, they should hopefully get in the range of breaking. Shaken. Wavering. They should break soon. Nice and soon. Come on. Do it. Come on. Don't go back up to shaking. Do not go back up to shaking. Get up there. Get up there. Wavering. Our Sapahi's holding for the time being. 64, 66. That's pretty damn good. Wavering. They're still wavering. Come on, guys. Oh, your your captain's dead. Your army's dead. This is certain defeat for you. But you're still wavering. Oh, the bastards. Come on, get right, get in, get right up in there. I don't know why you, like two of you are attacking. Come on, rush in there. Rush, rush, rush. Come on, pile in, pile in, pile in, and now attack. There you go. That's how you fight a war. You pile in. 56, back up to shaking. For crying out loud. Wavering. Come on, break. There we go. There we go. Just in time. Because, well, they have peasants coming up. Yeah, that's just peasants. We'll just have our Sapahis go... Well, uh, peasants. Hmm. Yeah, just, just shoot at them. Just shoot the peasants. Get all our archers off the walls in preparation for the volley over the buildings here. Yeah, those are shaken, wavering already. Yeah, you know what? They'll, they'll probably break some... Yeah, there you go, broken. All right, so that's a unit of peasants. Hopefully, hopefully we can mop up those peasants a little bit, get them, like, below 80 or so. Stop firing. Just mop them up with your melee. Broken, 94, 93, 90, 80. Okay. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent. Their armored sergeant's not really doing too much. Those peasants are all gone. Oh, that's nice. Let's get all of our Sapahis back here. Do not engage. Do not engage with armored sergeants. And let's get... Yeah, let's just get our, our Saracen militia, who actually uh, have, like, armored sergeant stats. <laughs> so they're pretty much the same unit. I think they just don't have, like, the good morale, good stamina, or whatever. If the armored sergeants have it, I can't remember. But we'll get them going up. We'll get all our archers off the walls. This is going to be kind of like a long, drawn-out, duking-it-out battle, because they're all on the plaza, sadly. But let's just go ahead and speed it up, and just get the Saracen Militia moving right up. All right, guys, time to lob arrows over the top of buildings. Sadly, you don't really have good shots, but that's fine. Uh, just go for it. Expend all your ammunition while they come pile into us, and we sadly have no place to flank them from. We can get in here, but we can't get through here, so that's kind of a pity. But yeah, just slam into them, duke it out, kill them all. Let's lower this so it doesn't crash. I don't want to play this again. <laughs> yeah, we're, they're, they're kindly allowing us to take down their cavalry first. So that's fine. We'll keep all our dismounted Spahi Lancers out of the fight nice and protected, and we'll just sacrifice our Saracen Militia. Yeah, our Saracen Militia doing a really damn good job here. That's always nice, and we really have no other option but to do it this way. Half? What? They've lost 80% of their force. How did you only just trigger the half of the enemy force? I guess because I captured 660 people? I Maybe that is factored into the triggering of that audio? Possibly. Yeah, uh, that, that would actually make sense. 82. Let's just keep speeding this up. There's really no strategy here. It's just time. We're down on pretty much all our missiles. Just our Sapahi missiles are left. And we'll just keep you guys slamming endlessly into these armored sergeants. <laughs> you can do it, guys. I have faith. Allah loves you. 
Surprisingly, none of our Saracen militia are uh, shaken or wavering or anything. They're all eager still. They are all, all three of them are exhausted, but they are eager, eager to, to keep fighting and take Tripoli, so that's always good. Yeah, we haven't had any uh, ammunition for anything for a while. I could get the catapults up here, but no, that'd just take too long. But it seems our Saracen militia is actually uh, out-battling these three groups of armored sergeants. We're doing really well, really, really well. We've got one unit down to 90, one down to 10, the other down to 8. We're doing exceptionally well here. Yeah, we're just slaughtering them. It's going to take forever, though, because they have almost... I, I believe they have either identical stats or Saracen militia have, like, one more defense i think so it's it's the stats wise that's why this is taking so damn long because they're identical units it's actually yeah we're still all eager 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 so i think i could possibly risk like a charge through and reattack. maybe 49 47 46 yeah that i think that worked i think that worked that's always a risk on your uh unit morale you might have some shaken wavering breaks etc but you really get in there and you start mailing them all a little bit quicker. Let's try that again. Get in there and attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's some good work right there. That guy's down to one, one, broken, one. Yeah, there's there are like two people left. That mailed knight holding his lance down. Get right on up there. Get right on up there and kill them all. Bastard Sicilians trying to take Heraklion. This is what you get. Yeah, death. Death is what you get. Yeah! Now they all drop to their knees and in victory. Wait, who's left? Oh, there was still a, one guy back here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 continue. Continue, kill him. Kill him, kill him. I want him to die. I want I want to see you all drop to your knees in victory. Come on. Come on, there, there are like 500 of you. Come on, do it. Kill him <laughs> for crying out loud. Attack, attack. Don't bash him with your shield. You Just poke him with your spear. Wow, this guy is extremely resilient. There he is, there he is. Drop to your knees in victory. Do it. Do it, yes! Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! Yeah! We won! Yeah! Rawr! Oh, look at these bastards. Yeah, that's right. 374 losses. Pretty damn good, I would say, for all the stuff they had. And Sultan Mustafa takes Tripoli, and the map turns so green. Uh, we will just occupy that, though, because it is a castle. Yeah, get a... Mm, yeah, get, let's, yeah, we can spare one turn to get a masjid in there. Oh, and we had... Oh, that's right. Ali Ali was the other coming of age here in Sarkel. That is right. All right. He's a night fighter. That's nice. We can probably get him... Yeah, we'll get him down fighting Mongolians. So... Oh, that's right. They did come here in Sarkel. Okay, so... I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this army out of Sarkel for the time being. Although it is a castle. Wow, it really can't train anything, can it? Oh, that's a pity. Hmm. That's actually a very precarious situation. And see... Yeah, everything's moved. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Still had some agent movements I didn't do, but they're all on auto move, so that's fine. Got a little assassin moving around there. Now a spy. Oh, holy Roman Empire. Is he going to die? Is he gonna... I mean, I see you getting into the city. Can you die? No, he made it in. What a son of a bitch. How about you? I see you getting in there. Can you die? Uh, yes, he died. All right, good. Ah. Ooh, that Venetian army is looking pretty full stack now. It's a little bit worrying. Zagreb's pretty weak. They're definitely going to want that back. Well, they, yeah, they, they're they going to want that back from Hungary, I guess. Venice usually takes that very early on. Thieves Guild in Bucharest. Yeah, sure, why not? Hello, Godzimir Brodati. Polish, you're you're very far from home. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing? You're just, like, enjoying the African coast by yourself without an army. Uh, I'm assuming what probably happened is that the crusading force that attacked us a couple of turns ago, I'm guessing since that was a full stack army, I'm guessing that guy had a son come of age and he's 24. I don't, would it be, you know, I, I don't know if the turns match, but, um, yeah, I'm guessing he got kicked out of that army cause he couldn't be in it. And now he's all alone. Just a one Polish family member 
meandering around Africa without a without a province in sight. Oh, you're just going to be like here alone, deserting your family as they get torn to shreds by my Ottomans. Ah, oh, what a bastard. All right, good recruitment there. Down in Smyrna, that's right. We have to check and see what that... Oh, they... Uh, that's a different... Oh, there they go. Yeah, that... Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Did this storm do anything? It killed 20 soldiers. Uh, no, it didn't. Or did it kill... So Yeah, okay, so it killed 20 sailors, not soldiers. That's fine, because we want two of you guys into that boat and you guys down into Iraq. Can you go straight into the city? Yes, you can. Very nice. All right. Good, good, good. And let's get you guys there. And no reason to keep a 30-unit Dow. I really just wanted to transport those two Sapahis into Arachleon so we can hold a really, really easy defense here. Yeah, that works. Oh, hey, why not? Get Ballista Towers, too. If the Sicilians are going to keep attacking that, well, they're, they'll be eradicated soon enough. But if they're going to keep attacking that, why not get Ballista Towers? Good construction there. Jerusalem got a Sultan's racing track. Sadly, I'm not really going to need it if the Mongolians are way the hell up here, but that's fine. You can keep getting all of that. Yerevan is fine for now. If I notice that they're heading down here, then I'll get a lot more. Baghdad could stay at the free upkeep range. Edessa can get a couple more. Trebizond is okay. Maybe two spear units, just in case. Sarkel's fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just pump out what we can when we can, just in case. Uh, we killed a Sicilian in Palermo, good, and we killed a Holy Roman Empire spy in Zagreb. But I did see that spy get into Budapest, the little bastard. So let's go ahead and train a spy here, make sure we kick him out, because he is going to eat into our unrest. Yeah, fifty percent unrest. Screw you, man. Uh, that general can stay right there. I am worried about. Maybe a huge army coming down here, but I think I'm going to risk it. We do have the naval power to fend off anything that comes our way through here. So we'll take all of the... You know what? Oh, yeah, that's that's what we can do with the Spear Militia. We'll leave them behind. Yeah, there we go. So you guys just get into that. You guys get into that. Everyone get in there. Pretty decent move. Oh, yeah, it's going to be three turns. Oh, damn. Look at that. Look at that. It just turns blue. Oh, what a pity. Yeah. Damn catapults. That's fine. And let's keep you moving on up to Riazan. Oh, there it is. That was a bit further off. Damn. I was hoping it was just here. That's fine. That's a uh... good thing we've got a pretty big force here, huh? Although that does look to be all cavalry. Although boy, our sons are incredibly damn good. Hopefully they don't. If they come out uh, and face me in the field with this army, they will annihilate me they will completely this is this it looks like this is all cavalry if this is like all boyar sons they will annihilate kasim adawla's army so i'm hoping they allow me to put this under siege and take it in the fort where their javelins won't mean shit but uh yeah they shouldn't they shouldn't attack me They'll, oh that's oh i'm not at war with russia that would make sense why they're just like eh, whatever <laughs> they yeah they most probably will not attack me that's that's so nice it's so nice when I realize I'm not at war with Russia. Anyway, let's keep you guys... You know what? Oh, that is a watchtower there already. Yeah, we won't put a watchtower down just yet. We will get you right here on the road then. Looks like that massive army has decided to piss off. Let's see if this assassin can pick them up. No, no idea. They're probably heading like down to Budapest. Ooh, interesting. You have a spy here. Nope. I wonder where that army took off to. <laughs> Where'd they go? Where did they go? Who knows? Now, I don't know if I should risk. Yeah, I think I will risk it. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take all this nice army, put them in there, and start hitting these guys up north. This, They'll probably attack me, though. I hope they don't sink me, but, oh, that's so risky. Do I just get more... Mm, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I can't risk it. That's that's these are these units are just way too good to risk having a ship sunk or like thrown over here by auto attack or anything. I want to get them on that Italian peninsula, just waiting for Jack Mac when he gets all this. Yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful little army for Jack Mac. He deserves it. 
All right, let's retrain those Sipahis in Cairo, get two more awaiting. And yeah, I, I never got anything that said that the uh, crusade was canceled. So they're just going to keep coming, I think. They're going to keep coming until I either annihilate them. It was just Portugal and Poland, right? Uh, whoops. Yeah, I think it... Well, okay, okay, no, yeah, France as well. Yeah, France. Venice uh, are at war with me, but that's just through all this stuff here. I don't think they were actually crusading Sicily either. No, it was just Poland, Portugal, and France that were actually in the crusade. So we have yet to see a French force. That should be interesting, because the French are kind of absolute dicks in this game. Their units are just stupid. Uh, so we'll have to wait for them. But in the meantime, I think this is a pretty damn good place to leave this episode off. We've got a lot of good movement going around here. We've taken part in a lot of decent battles. Nothing too spectacular. It was all pretty one-sided for me. But, uh, you know, they will come. They will come. This uh, Taking Venice is going to be nice and interesting. That's for damn sure. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty damn good place to leave it off. So once again, uh, thank you everyone for watching. And join me back in the next episode.